Hello, hello, it's Miss C. Harris. And now let's come in and see what's happening with Miss Harris. Today, we will be discussing rotations on the coordinate plane. So go ahead, grab your graph paper, a pencil, and perhaps a ruler, and let's get started. Now we will begin with some notes. Rotations on the coordinate plane. First of all, what are rotations? Rotations are transformations that turns an object about a fixed point without changing its size or shape. Angle of rotation is the number of degrees an object rotates. There are four angles of rotations. The first angle of rotation is a 90 degree rotation, which is equivalent to one quadrant turn. The second angle of rotation is 180 degree rotation, which is equivalent to two quadrant turns. The third angle of rotation is the 270 degree rotation, which is equivalent to three quadrant turns. And the final angle of rotation is the 360 degree rotation, which is equivalent to four quadrant turns. Next, we will look at clockwise. Clockwise is a right turn rotation. Next, we'll look at the counterclockwise rotation, which is a left turn rotation. Now let's look into how to graph a rotation. Step one, you'll have to read the directions to see how many degrees and to which direction you will be rotating, clockwise or counterclockwise. Step two, pick up your graph paper to actually perform the rotation. Then step three, with the graph paper still rotated, find and name the coordinates of the new points. And here's how you're gonna do it. You're gonna begin at the origin, and then you will count the number of units you move. First, we'll begin with left or right, and then up and down. Left or right denotes the movement on the x-axis. If you move to the left, that's when x is negative. When you move to the right, which is to the right of zero, when x is positive. Up or down denotes the y-axis, which is above zero are the positive y values, and below zero denotes the negative y values. Fourth and final, you will rotate the graph paper back to its original direction to graph the new image. Step one, we're going to see how many degrees and to which direction we'll be rotating, clockwise or counterclockwise. So in example one, it reads, graph the image of M, negative four, seven, after a rotation, 90 degrees clockwise around the origin. So here we have point M, negative four, seven. We're going to rotate point M 90 degrees clockwise. We know that 90 degrees represents one quadrant turn, and clockwise means that we're going to rotate or turn our paper one turn to the right. So step two, we're going to actually pick up the graph paper and perform the rotation. We're going to pick up the graph paper and turn our paper to the right one time. Step three, with the graph paper still rotated, we will find and name the coordinates of our new points. In order to do this, we're going to begin at the origin. Once we get to the origin, we're gonna count the number of units we move, left to right, then up and down. So to get from the origin to point M, we will count seven units to the right and four units up. Then we'll take note of our new point, which is M prime, positive seven, since we went seven units to the right, and positive four, since we went four units up. Now that we have our new ordered pair, we will rotate the graph paper back to its original direction to graph our new points. And here is M prime, positive seven, positive four. In step one, we've read the directions to find that we will be rotating 180 degrees counterclockwise. 180 degree clockwise rotations means that we will turn our paper two quadrant turns, 
counterclockwise means that this time we're going to rotate our paper to the left two times. In step two, we're going to actually pick up our graph paper and turn it two turns to the left. Step three, with the graph paper still rotated, we're going to find and name the new coordinates for our new points. In order to do this, we'll begin at the origin and then we will count the number of units that we will move from the origin to point A. In order to do this, we'll move two units to the left and three units down. Our new coordinate will be A prime, negative two, negative three. Our X coordinate is negative two because we moved two units to the left of the origin and our Y coordinate is negative three because we moved three units down. Step four, we will rotate the graph paper back to its original direction to graph our new point. In order to do this, we'll go to the origin and graph negative two, negative three. Here's our A prime. Example three, graph the image of T, negative six, negative four, after a rotation 270 degrees clockwise around the origin. For step one, we've read the directions to determine how many degrees and to which direction we will be rotating, clockwise or counterclockwise. In this example, we'll be rotating 270 degrees clockwise. 270 degrees means that we will rotate three turns. Clockwise means that we will rotate to the right. Therefore, we will rotate three turns to the right. Now, for step two, we're going to actually pick up the graph paper to perform the rotation. 270 degrees clockwise. So we're going to turn our papers to the right three times. Now with the graph paper still rotated, we're going to name our new points. In order to do this, we'll begin at the origin and then we will count the number of units we will move, left to right, then up and down. In order to get from the origin to point T, we will move to the right and then down. To count the number of units we moved to the right, we moved four units to the right and then we moved six units down. Now, our new coordinate for T prime will be positive four, negative six. The reason that our coordinate will be positive four, negative six is because we moved four units to the right and six units down. Now, for step four, we'll rotate the graph paper back to its original direction to graph the new image. To do this, we'll begin at the origin and graph our new point, T prime, positive four, negative six. Here's our new point. Example four, we will graph the image of H, negative six, negative four, after a rotation 360 degrees counterclockwise around the origin. Okay, so for step one, we've already read the directions to figure out how many degrees and to which direction we will be rotating. In our directions, we see that we'll be rotating 360 degrees counterclockwise. 360 degrees means that we're going to do four quadrant turns and counterclockwise means that we'll be rotating or turning our paper to the left four times. Then the step three, with the graph paper still rotated, we will find and name the coordinates of the new points. We'll begin at the origin, and then we will count the number of units that we move. Here, we see that from the origin, 
2.h, we moved six units to the left and four units down. Now that we see that our new coordinate for h prime will be negative six, negative four. Our x coordinate is negative six because we moved six units to the left. Our y coordinate is negative four because we moved four units down. As you can see that with a 360 degree rotation, you will end up exactly where you started. So here's our H prime, negative six, negative four. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you all so much for taking this opportunity today to tune in and see what's happening with Miss Harris. So don't forget, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel to see what's next and know that Miss Harris loves you oh so much. Toodles. Mwah.